that thing fast. Uh, you know, universal frequencies don't know uh, that he's a Gnostic person. So just because he don't know to call himself a Gnostic, then you you know, uh, take away all the information that he know, cause you gotta know that you a Gnostic, you know, in order to be speaking on information, you gotta know, you know, uh, these terminologies to label yourself as, you know, if you're gonna call yourself knowing things. <laughs> uh, what I'm getting at is the vibration, where I just call the vibe of like, you know, how we get caught up in these little labels and stuff like that. And I was laughing at, uh, I was sitting down listening to some information on the Gnostic papers and, you know, and, you know, they were speaking on how, you know, just, you know, knowing and, and being into the deeper occult, esoteric, occult meaning that which is, is, is hidden, esoteric meaning the inner meaning, exoteric meaning the outer meaning, you know, but, you know, uh, tapping into these deeper meanings, you know, and getting this gnosis, gnosis is, uh, you know, to know or the knowledge, you know, da'at in Hebrew, but uh, I'm sitting here laughing, and I'm like, here it is where I've been a, uh, person who's like a, a, a Gnostic, you know, student or somebody that would be known as a, you know, a, a Gnostic in essence, but, you know, it's something that I never would call myself or like when people ask me if I knew about like, you know, Gnosticism and stuff like that, I still would kind of be like, I mean, you know, I know about a bunch of different little information that, you know, occult and esoteric information, but I don't know whether I'm a Gnostic or not, you know what I'm saying? And, and with that being said, you know, with me not knowing to call myself a Gnostic or not, does that take away the information that I study and learn about crystals? Does it take away the inner gnosis and the uh, information that I uh, have come across in my psychedelic journeys, you know? Like, no, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, again, like, uh, whether I carry myself with this title of being a Gnostic or not, you know, that doesn't take away the information that, you know, I deal with. As a matter of fact, I just made, did a video, too, about speaking on uh, knowing and knowledge and how it's not just about that either, you know, it's about us applying what we know. You know, I know, I could know a stove is hot. But I gotta have the, the wisdom and intelligence to, to not keep touching that stove over and over again, you know? I could know it's gonna rain tomorrow, but I have to have the wisdom and intelligence to not walk outside without an umbrella. You know, if I know I don't wanna get wet and I know it's gonna rain, you know? You gotta use that intelligence, you know, and apply it. And, you know, and using that intelligence over time through your experiences, you know, that's how you gain that wisdom, you know? But it's, uh, you know, acting upon, you know, uh, what you know, you know, using the, uh, applying what you have learned, you know, into the situations, not just knowing, you know. I know that, uh, and two, you know, not going into like, uh, you know, knowing things that apply to our, to our moment, you know, also like, uh, I think about me knowing that the raspberry flavor is made from the ass of a beaver. <laughs> you know, of course, in it all things, may, you know, gonna have some type of use or you know, some type of relevance in some way. But you know, that's knowledge that doesn't really uh, necessarily help. Uh, you know, I gotta say, help me take leaps and bounds on my spiritual growth. <laughs> but hey, you know. Uh, information nonetheless but you know, just saying though know, again whether you know of these titles or any of this you know like oh are you a Gnostic or are you not a Gnostic or do you do it? it's like bro I, I know I, I read I, I listen to lectures and you know, I study and I do my own inner notice and gnosis and meditate you know and I share what I get from that you know quote unquote Gnostic or you know are you some type of shaman or something or <laughs> you know uh again even when people ask me that hey I mean I don't necessarily consider walk around like hey 
I'm a shaman, you know. But I know I do things that fall in alignment with what, you know, uh, what being a shaman is, in essence. The, the, does the, does the quote-unquote shaman work that I do uh, be, uh, does it get taken away just because I don't call myself a shaman? Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just starts to peep out, like, you know, even with the way we dress, like, I don't have to dress, like, I just like these scarves and wearing these little harem pants, you know, my little colorful pants and my, my scarf, and, you know, yeah, I got into the roster vibes and, you know, with the dreads and start wearing the towns, but, you know, that doesn't make me spiritual, you know? Supplying what I know that allows for me to spiritually, you know, grow and to soulfully ascend, you know? Not dressing a certain way or just knowing information without applying it, you know? But, and we all on our growth. You know, so don't be mad at yourself if you're going around like just dealing with knowledge without applying it. You know, there there's room to stand up and look in the mirror right now and say, all right, yeah, I've been, you know, because there's certain areas where I've seen it for myself, you know, where I was like reading and learning about it, but not actually applying it, you know. So it's like, you know, you want to really be applying all that you, you know, learn about, you know, quote unquote, knowledge. Gnosis by the application. Peace. <laughs> Happy now. Now's the vibrate. Of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Again, just, you know, these labels. You know, gets to a point where they really don't, you know, serve a purpose, you know, all the purpose it serves is more towards confusion than actually understanding, you know. Oh, you ain't no Gnostic, or you, you gotta say you are Gnostic then, and then, then I'll listen to you. If you said you were you went to school to go get a doctor and then you call yourself a doctor then i would listen to you but since you're not doing all that i know i can't listen to you you know if you don't call yourself a shaman i ain't letting you work on you know i ain't you ain't helping me <laughs> peace peace y'all <laughs>